All right, we're doing a, uh, a homemade direct feed two element Yagi. What I did was I used plexiglass that's three eighths of an inch thick, drilled all my holes for my U bolts, and <laughs> made up some rusty clamps. <laughs> that doesn't matter because uh, this is the uh, just the reflector. So it doesn't doesn't really matter what's holding them down. I will put some spray paint on that later, uh, but for now it's good enough. That element is made up of many pieces. It has a a half inch piece slid into that five eighths. In the center, there is a, a five foot long half inch uh, aluminum pipe inside of that uh, five eighths aluminum pipe, and that. That five footer is centered in there just to give the element a little bit more support and again down on the end there it's the same thing there's another half inch slid into the end to make this element the length that it needs to be now the boom that I used is a little bit overkill it's a two inch boom uh, but I used what I had a friend of mine brought me that pipe the other day it's assuaged it meets in the middle so where it attaches to the rotor, the clamps will hold it together there. And on this end, on the active element, same thing. We got a piece of 3 8 uh, plexiglass. Uh, U bolted to the 2 inch mast. And in this one, I have this is obviously bigger pipe. And each half is five pieces of pipe clamped together. Uh, but in the center, there's a piece of three-quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC. Uh, it's a nice, good, thick wall on it. And I have a two-inch spacer in between the elements. Uh, from what I've read, the two inches is the best you can do. Or it's, it's what you should do. So I have my two-inch spacer that's just kind of floating free on the PVC. And these clamps here are where the coax will get attached to. I have the elements currently set at uh, 102 and a quarter inches. <laughs> All right, I got more I have to do. I have to get the the center section done. I gotta make up a a plate to put there to mount it to a mast to put inside of the rotor. All right, I'm gonna go do that now, and I'll bring it back when I have it together. Okay, I have it all mounted to the uh, aluminum plate now. And on a really short little mast, uh, this antenna is heavy. And that's just an old TV rotor. So I don't want to overload the rotor by putting a, uh, a longer mast up on top. So we're going to keep it short to the rotor. All right, let's talk about the dimensions of this antenna. Uh, whenever I make an antenna like this, I get a lot of questions about the dimensions. The reflector can be any material you have. Car going by. Sorry about that. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's conductive. If it conducts electricity and will support itself, you can use it as a reflector. Well, for that matter, you can use it as an element too. Uh, but the reflector on this, I'm, I'm setting this up for channel 38. The antenna is wiggling because we got a big boy over here rub, rubbing up against it. But that uh, reflector is 100, uh, 100, yeah, 216 inches long. It's 5% longer than this element. And this element, uh, like I told you earlier, each half is 102 inches and one quarter 102 and a quarter inches long and I have a two inch spacer in the middle so currently it is at what 204 and a half and the the boom uh, the boom as long as you can get uh, I have these uh, spaced at 92 inches apart uh, 92 inches is 0.225 of a wavelength, and that uh, from the uh, oh boy, having trouble getting the words out. 
cats are messing with me that's why they're everywhere they're all around me uh, <laughs> but the uh, the spacing on that uh, with it spaced at this distance the 92 inches from the center of this element to the center of that element will give a 50 ohm feed point resistance All right, I'm going to go put this up on the test pole and hook it up and see how it does. The coax just gets clamped right to the pipes. Simple as that. Uh, once I know this is working well, that'll get all sealed up. Uh, but for now, it's just for testing it out and seeing if this thing works. So for now, it's good enough. Again, it's only going on my test pole for right now. All right, I'm going to stand this thing up and we're going to give it a try. 10 feet off the ground, ready to try it out. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It actually balanced too, with it being centered. I thought for sure the active element was gonna be heavier, but I guess I put enough metal into the reflector to keep it uh, balanced. All right, let's go try that thing out, see what the uh, how it performs. All right, we're at 27.19. It's 7, 8 megahertz, roughly in between channel 19 and 20. And if we look at the SWR meter, right in the middle of the band, we got 1.2. All right, I'm going to put that thing to use and try it out. All right, I'm hooked up to that two-element Yagi. It's only 10 feet off the ground, and I just heard a station in Maine coming in. Let's give it a try, see if we can reach him. CQCQ CQ, 151 South Carolina standing by Two five eight, two five eight, up there in Quebec, Canada. Good morning to you, one five one South Carolina. Waving a hand to you. Copy that, 258. Hey, have yourself a fantastic day and an even better week. 258, you got 151, South Carolina. I'm going to say 73s to you. Check, check, sir. Got it on, got it on, and I thank you. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Hey, Jack, you got a little bit Well, look at that. I, I thought I was going to talk to somebody in Maine, but we talked to Canada instead. <laughs> so the antenna worked so well i decided to put it on my house this is the reason i built this antenna was to go on my house and i have it up in the air now two days after i put this antenna up we had an ice storm oh there was serious amounts of ice on that antenna it held up well let me show you a little bit of footage i took uh during the ice storm I don't know if you can see that, it's got ice all over it. And look at it, the reflector's drooping a little bit. But look at the active element, the one closest to us. Perfectly straight, even covered in ice. Oh, we can see it better from this point of view. Look at the ice all over that thing. Hoo hoo wee. So what did you think? It held up pretty good, didn't it? Looks good up there, too. Uh, even my wife said, hey, that antenna looks good on the house. <laughs> All right, guys. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.